What are the different types of loading? Basically, there are five types of loading. Concentrated load Uniformly distributed load Uniformly varying load General loading and external moment. Let us first understand concentrated load. Consider a beam with load acting over a very small length compared to the full length of the beam. This load can be approximated as a point load and is always represented by an arrow. Now let us understand uniformly distributed load. Consider a beam which has a load with uniform intensity over a significant length. Uniformly distributed load can be represented by these two indications as shown in the figure. If we need to consider the equilibrium of the entire beam, then this load can be replaced by the total load acting at the middle of the length. Where total load is equal to, this load will act at a distance x by 2 from point A. Now let us understand uniformly varying load. Consider a beam which has a load whose intensity increases linearly along the length. A uniformly varying load is also known as a triangular load and can be represented by the triangle as shown in the figure. If we need to consider the equilibrium of the entire beam, then this load can be replaced by the total load acting at the centroid of the triangle. Where total load will be, this load will act at the centroid of the triangle. Now let us understand general loading. General loading can be any varying load. A uniformly distributed load and a uniformly varying load are specific cases of general loading. General loading can be replaced by an equivalent concentrated load at the centroid of the loading profile. And now, let us understand external moment. Consider a beam which is subjected to a moment. An external moment can be represented by a curved arrow as shown in the figure. Arrow gives the direction of the moment which can be clockwise or anti-clockwise. Question. Remember keywords. Related terms are useful information.